Welcome and thank you very much for your attention. This video is going to go over our knee type milling machine line that we've been successfully offering to the US market for just about 35 years. We're going to start with the smallest machine here. This is our WM3VS and we offer the machine as a straight manual machine or we can fit it with numerous different options. For example, this machine has a three axis new all digital readout. Uh, it has the optional flood coolant system, which those are controls for turning it on and off. And you can see on this side, you have all the plumbing and the on off for that. Uh, this machine has a nine by 49 table, has dovetail ways. Uh, without any of these power feeds, you can get up to 36 by almost 13 inch travel. You do lose a little bit of travel when you add those options. Uh, we have a three horsepower uh, milling head with an R8 spindle. Now we're gonna step up to the next size machine, which is our model 1050. That is a 10 by 50 table with no options on it. You have travels of up to 36 by 16. You can see you have dovetail ways on the machine. This machine is fitted with an optional mill head, which we call our EV, which has electronic variable speed versus the standard mechanical variable speed. This is also a three horsepower milling machine. And you can see the electrical box here that has all the components, uh, the inverter and the electronics needed for the electronic variable speed. And now we'll step up to our next size machine, which is our 1052. And that's 1050 with the Roman numeral two. The same three horsepower R8 milling head, same 10 by 50 table, same 36 by 16 plus travels without the options. But this machine has a very heavy knee with box ways and the column with box ways. The column on this machine is also taller than the 1050, meaning you get more distance between the spindle and the table. This machine is also fitted with our what we call our option C electrical package which includes, among other things, this knee-mounted control box, which controls the flood coolant, which is standard on this machine. You also have your forward reverse switch for the spindle here and an emergency stop. And a pilot light to show you that you got power at the box. These are all low-volt controls here. These are the, this is the electronic box for controlling all those items. And you also have a couple of 110-volt uh, outlets which is very convenient if you have like a digital readout or a power feed. And as you can see, here is the coolant package that comes on this machine. And in addition, the option C has a little limit switch up on the brake, so you can one hand stop the machine. You just pull down on the brake or push up on the brake and you will stop the spindle electronically and that's also a mechanical brake. Now we step up to a little different series uh, this is what we call our 1252, the Roman numeral two. This has the same box ways on the knee and the column. It has a much heavier and wider saddle. You have a 12 inch by 50 inch table, which is great for larger work pieces. And these box weigh machines can hold up to 1100 pounds centered on the table, which is very nice if you have heavy kind of uh, work pieces for sure. Uh, again, about 36 by 16. Uh, travels without any of the options on them. <clears throat> this is the basic machine with your fuse box there. And this has a five horsepower, 40 taper milling head, very, very rigid. And on these machines, we take out the knuckle joint. So you can still move the heads left and right, uh, 90 degrees, but you do not have any front to back head tilt. Uh, we've had some comments about that in the past, but this is such a strong machine that is generally kind of a weak point in knee mills uh, with this much power and it, in our opinion it's best to have a solid connection there to get you the best rigidity on the machine. Uh, if you need that front to back head tilt we have sold some smaller like kind of box tables with tilting uh, capability which would get you that um, possibly that angle you need. These machines all do come standard with your toolbox all necessary tools and handles uh, also comes standard with front and rear uh, way covers to help keep chips off the ways. We don't have them on now just so you can see the construction. 
And now we move into our largest knee mill, our model 5000 VS, which is a full series two size machine, 12 by 59 table, and that gives you 16 by 47 inches of table travel, which is kind of almost unheard of on knee mill these days. This machine is fitted with numerous options from your, this has a three axis new all digital readout. Uh, we've added an optional power feed for the cross feed. Added a halogen work light, pneumatic power drawbar, and this particular machine also has a control box up here, which is low volt control. You can see it has controls for spindle on off. This turns on the table motor, which moves the table left and right. And this is for moving the table up and down, and obviously emergency stop and your flood coolant. This machine is fitted with a two horsepower motor and a 12 speed gearbox for running the table. And it also has a uh, rapid feed and that's for the full 47 inches of travel. I uh, can kind of see it here, but there's an additional two horsepower motor, which is used for raising and lower the knee. And that's just a positioning motor, not a feed motor, uh, but that's standard equipment. And then the electro box here will have all the, uh, Oop. We'll have all the controls for running all these accessories and motors. And you also have a few 110 volt outlets on this machine, which can be very beneficial. This machine, as standard, does have an automatic lubrication system, which is on anytime the spindle is on. So if you're not using the machine, it's best to just push the E stop in and the pump will stop pumping. The smaller machines have a one-shot lube right there for lubrication. All right, now we're going to show you a little bit of how the machine operates. And we're going to start with this WM3VS, which has almost all the options that we offer. Uh, you can see it's got the X, Y, and Z power feed. And these are easy enough to use. You can go down to pretty much zero, up to rapid, and the other direction, and it has a rapid override. And then not terribly exciting, but same thing in the other end. Also, same with the Z. All right, we showed you the uh, optional coolant system on this machine. You can switch right here. You will need 110 volts uh, to that switch. Uh, we don't have it plugged in right now, but the coolant tank and the sump is in the sump of the machine, and the coolant uh, pump is in there also. You can see here, this is where all your power comes into the machine. And back around on this side, again, the valve and the, and the hose and all the plumbing for the coolant system. Now, I'll show you how these mill heads work. Um, this is kind of the standard machine, most common setup for the mill head. Right now, we're in low gear, which is the back gear, so it's going to be 60 to 500 RPM. We'll just flip it on, make sure we get going the right direction. That's in forward. Change your RPMs. You're just cranking the handle up and down. Now we'll show you some other features on the mill head and how it works. We'll get the power feed going. Off, there's brake. Now this is gonna engage power feed. This is a worm gear up here and you wanna make sure the spindle is off when you engage this, else you're gonna tear up a uh, worm gear and it's not easy to replace. Spindle off, you may have to move the spindle by hand. Uh, All right, now with the spindle in forward, You'll see this is your forward reverse clutch here. 
greasy. That'll be going in reverse. That's going to be in forward. Now to engage your power feed, all you do is pull out on that lever. And then you set, you can set this up right here. This is your depth stop. It's kind of a quick set. And it'll automatically kick out when this gets down to here. And I'll just simulate that here. And we'll show it closer up. And you got three different power down feed rates. But you can adjust over here. Now this you can do with the spindle and low speed. And you can see the wheel will move at different, uh, different RPMs. And then another very popular option on these machines is a digital readout. This is the new all three axis digital readout. Very accurate, pretty much indestructible. Very fantastic warranty. We also work with uh, Accurate, very nice products, and also work with Fagor too. Now we'll get up into high gear. Again, the spindle has to be off. You may have to jog the spindle a little bit. Now you're in high gear. Now you're in from 500 up to 4200 RPM. All right, so again, this is the most common configuration of the mill head that we sell, but we do offer a few different versions. We'll step up to the 1050 here. This machine here has what we call our EV head. Same basic mill head, but at the top up here, it's all electronic variable speed. And we'll, walk, we'll take a quick look in here. You'll see that's the frequency inverter. And you can see where your power comes in right there. And we'll close that up. And we have the e-stop on right now. And we'll see here, now we're in back gear, so that's the low gear. And basically for turning your spindle on and off, oh, that's in reverse there. And now for changing the RPM, instead of having the mechanical hand wheel up here, you just have a little electronic rheostat. Right there. And this machine also has a built-in one-handle brake. It's going to turn off the spindle motor and mechanically brake the machine. Which is a nice uh, one-hand operation there. And as far as the back gear and the front gear and the gauge and the power feed, works identically to that smaller machine. Now we're going to go over to another optional configuration of the machine. This is our option C control package. And you can see this electric box a little bit different. And you hook your power up into that terminal strip over there. <clears throat> In this machine, you have all your controls. Up, up on top of the mill head, you still control your RPMs with a mechanical hand wheel, hand wheel, but you have your electronic controls down here. These are all low volt controls. We got the e-stop out, shows you got power here at the control box. Get your spindle forward and reverse, just with that button right there. And your coolant on off switch is right here. Coolant is standard as part of the option C. You may be able to hear that just kicked on. And again, this option C also includes that one-handed brake. So, and again, the engaging the power feed and all that works identically. This is the 1252, just a bigger, much more massive head, much more massive machine. Functions of all the power feeds, the RPMs 
high gear, low gear, uh, it's identical on this machine. Now we'll step up to our full Series 2 size machine. And we'll take a look in the electric box real quick. You can hook up your main power onto the terminal strip there. And we'll flip on the main switch here. And you got your control panel right here. This is going to be for the coolant, or excuse me, this is going to show you got power up here. That's going to turn your coolant pump on and off. Obviously, emergency stop for everything there. This machine, as standard, has that two horsepower motor for raising and lowering the knee. Uh, this gets the spindle going here, or excuse me, powers this uh, switch up here. Backwards. Now we're in forward, we're in high, high gear. So you can see it's very similar here. That's your high gear, low gear. Power feed and gauges work the same way. Here you can see we also have this fitted with the new all three axis digital readout. Again, a uh, very popular option. And now we have, I'll show you the uh, servo power feed we put on the cross feed. That's, this is an optional accessory. Similar to the smaller machine down there. The variable, variable speed control. And rapid override. Same thing for coming out. Just a nice feature, another nice feature, it's two horsepower motor, 12 speed gearbox. You can hear the gearbox running now. And for engaging, this gives you your different feed rates from one inch up to 29 inches per minute. And this controls your directions, either left right and it has the rapid feed pull up on that in case it's a multi-disc clutch and additionally we don't have it hooked up but that's the power draw bar up on top and the hell of the work light which we don't have plugged in at the moment. Bob, we certainly appreciate your uh, checking us out and welcome any questions you guys might have.